Sports fans, here we are again. We're back at it. We're getting closer to preseason. Here with our brothers, my brothers, Half Baked Sports. Josh, Chuck, John, you guys, we got some things to talk about. Um, Josh, you want to start it off for us? Yeah. Today we are, each took a team that we looked at over the week, took a look at their draft, took a look at their coaching, took a look at the players. And we are going to take uh, you down the trip that we just took, and we're going to give you our opinion on how they will do this coming season. The yeah. team that I got assigned was the L.A. Rams. Now, as we know, Sean McVay took over the Rams in 18 and basically took them immediately to the Super, to the Bowl. Super Bowl. Yep. Sure now, uh, although significant with a 3-3, three and three, they were really not. They really weren't playing that tough of a competition. They had the AFC West, which we know is kind of weak, mm-hmm. minus of course uh, Kansas City, who was up and coming at the time. That's true. And the NFC North, which we know is stout with Green Bay <laughs> and Minnesota. So it's not too surprising that they went thirteen and three. Now in nineteen, they went nine and seven against two very tough opponents. They had uh, their own division, obviously, as well as the NFC South. New Orleans, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, also, Atlanta was playing well at that They're point in time. Well and the AFC North with Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and even Cleveland uh, has proven to be a stout competition. So yeah. last year, which brings us to last year, they went 10-6, and six, dropped two at home, dropped four on the road. Um, given this, I do like what I see out of Sean McVay. He does game plan properly. Um, and of course, let's not forget they did that trade Goff for Matthew Stafford. Proven, now we already a did very, a video, a very proven quarterback. Yes, we already did a video, and it really does compare. One is older than the other, yeah. but the one thing I do want to point out is the amount of sacks and the amount of uh, yards that they've lost. Uh, that yeah. is significantly different, which means that the Rams have a better offensive line. With Matthew being upright, I expect him to put up better numbers. Um, and their defense is pretty solid over there. And their defense is solid. And now let's get to the draft. Taking a look at their draft, although they did not have a number one overall, they did take a wide receiver in round two. Okay? The rest of their uh, picks are pretty much defensive related uh, until you get to the tight end in round four. They also picked up uh, another receiver and some running backs um, to round out the end of the draft with some defensive players. Now, we know that Sean McVay has got that defense running well, and he needs the younger players to keep him playing at a high level. Take a look. This this is the NFC West, right? You have Seattle, you have the Rams, and San Francisco, when they're healthy, is a tough out. Yeah. And so right now, and, and, and let's not forget, Arizona's up and coming. So this is going to be a tough division overall. And taking a look with the new 17 games uh, schedule here, um, they have Chicago first. And if you take a look at Chicago, even though there's some question marks, that's a winnable game. But the next four games are not easy and could give you a glimpse onto what they do in the future of this, as far as the schedule goes. Because they have Indianapolis, Tampa Bay, Arizona, and Seattle. That right there is a four-game stretch, which is very dangerous. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. I'm oh, looking yeah. at I'm looking at this team. And I mean, take a look. This year they're playing the <laughs> NFC North once again, Green Bay. Well, that's, that <laughs> may not be an yeah, issue. They're nemesis. That may not be an issue with you know, considering that the whole uh, Aaron Rodgers debate right now. And, and that depends um, on whether you're there or not. But this year that's they're true. playing the AFC South, which uh, we know is four, out, uh, outside, four of ten, right outside of <laughs> outside of Tennessee. I mean, the Colts didn't do too bad, but there's going to be a lot of questions with the Colts because it's uh, you know um, a new quarterback. It's a new quarterback with uh, Wentz, right? Yeah. He's the new head uh, starting QB for Indianapolis. Unless, and so that that one is going to be a tough, but I think difficult. that's the second game. That I mean, that's a winnable. So yeah, if they go win. two and drop three, they can they can recover by Giants, Detroit, and Houston, Houston yep. before definitely, they play Tennessee definitely. in Week Nine. 
So, ladies and gents, I really do put this in a position of definitely a 10-win team, potentially 11, when you take a look at the remaining, uh, and remaining you're playing, games. And you're playing a 17-game win, a 17-game season. Yeah. So, 10-7 uh, is, is definitely 10-7 a good. 10-7 is, is good, but you might want to get well, that. You might want to see if you can you figure need out to get, something to Well, now, with, with the added true. game, with the additional game, you're going to have to get 11 at or more. At least 11 or 12. But yeah, even, being but a, even with a, that, you have that extra – you have the one extra team per yeah. per conference. And you need too. at least you need at least eleven to twelve just to be in the playoff contention contention at the end of the exactly. Game. So I'm looking for I'm 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 a, I'm gonna piggyback off what Josh said. I'm gonna say Seattle. I'm looking them to be somewhere. Um, this is I'm not this saying, is the Rams, be, not they're gonna, Seattle. They're gonna be, they're gonna, this I'm is the Rams. The Rams. I'm thinking the Rams. I'm thinking the Rams are actually either second in the division. Uh, they were last they're year. They're going to probably be the fifth or sixth team. Oh. If they don't win their like, division. They're, so they're going to they be a be, wild card they gotta team. Be, they got to be a wild card team. Yeah. And well, I and think it's fifth or sixth. They're not going to be not forget, This is all dependent upon what Seattle does. Yeah. Because we all know that Seattle fights, but right now there's still a little bit of there's a rift a there of, in the front a lot, office. There's a lot of stuff yeah, going yeah, on yeah. over there. Uh, and question marks around Russell Wilson, whether or not he'll be there. I mean, look, right now we're still in the beginning stages of the great – Free agency, and, and let's not forget the trades. With a seventeen game so, season, <laughs> exactly. So uh, yeah, basically, man. with what they have now, with what they've done, I, I expect their defense to play well. Yeah. They definitely added some offensive weapons. Not that they needed them, but it, it's definitely a good addition. And I I think that you're going to see them do the ten and six or ten and seven, and, and maybe we, even eleven and six this year. But you year. think about a potential trade for Julio Jones to add that to uh, that would uh, not be a bad position for them to fall. But, I mean, if they and, if the Rams could get him, you know, and that would that would be like uh, yes. hooking Matthew Stafford yeah. up with with Megatron again. Yeah. And I'm, I'm I'm gonna say this here: if any one of these teams we're talking about gets uh, Julio Jones. Uh, that changes the landscape. Oh yeah, and yeah. Until we know exactly where he lands, I yeah. mean, it's always it's always going to be it's speculation. All, it's always speculation. But I'm all saying right. Uh, right. that's pretty much it for the Rams. If you uh, if you guys have anything else to add, that comment below. Let us know what you think, Kendall. I'm up. Here we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, brothers here, half big, uh, and all the fans. I like to say first and foremost, definitely this pandemic that we've gone through is kind of held us back, held America back, held the world back. So sports nowadays to its full capacity to go where we've been in the past. Now everyone's releasing things, we're getting back to normal, which is a very good thing. It's a good feeling. And that now that we're talking about stats and gents, or gyms and all this stuff like that, I'd like to, everybody to keep in mind that let's take a look at where life was before the pandemic because that's actually what we're used to because – you know, shorter seasons, shorter seasons, uh, shorter preseason, things like that have definitely kind of been a, a, a deal in the factor and stuff. Um, of course, everyone knows my team, San Francisco 49ers. I just kind of want to touch a little bit on them. And then I like my, my brothers here that kind of helped me out. I want to do a little bit of a Q&A, but I'll keep it short and simple. Uh, we've seen the last few seasons what San Francisco has done. And I would actually like to call this the future of the 49ers as we go through this. Uh, my first and foremost, of course, he's the guy that's running the whole show with this team, Kyle Shanahan. He's actually done a great job as far as my personal opinion. And then I want to ask my brother this question after this. But will he be able to get this team back to the playoffs? Uh, possible Super Bowl. I want to start first and say... I think he has it in him. You know, he was under a lot of pressure last season. Pandemic really doesn't have anything to do with it. But the pre previous season with 49ers, not last season, but previous season. 2019. 2019, yeah. and then 2018, San Francisco went. They were at a rut, made it all the way to the Super Bowl. Okay, we lost. Well, uh, I don't blame it on him because the team got, got together, did what they had to do. Now, let's look at Jimmy when we say that. Uh, keeping him healthy is going to be a very major aspect on what's going to happen next. But my question to my brothers here on the panel, what are you guys' thoughts on Kyle Shanahan bringing this team back, uh, a spark of life, if I may ask? 
I mean, I like what he's done. I think that Kyle Shanahan, he brings a good offensive mind to the team. Mm -hmm. Uh, Not only that, they've beefed up that that defense to where it was playing really good two years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and take a look. That was the year that it was the NFC South and the AFC North. And they pulled out. (laughs) They pulled out. How many wins? Was it 13? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 13 and 3. And that was was predominantly on Garoppolo's arm and Mm -hmm. Kittle. And and yep. and also both are killing. Oh, the, killing and uh, who was the running back back then? They had two of them. They, yeah, they were um, running over Mozart, everybody. Uh, most most that Mozart and um, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, not McKinley. He said Coleman. Uh, Coleman. Tevin Coleman. Coleman. Tevin Coleman. So yeah, I I think I, I yeah. like what Kyle has done. I would like to see him progress because okay, mm-hmm. uh, eighteen was a great year, thirteen right. and three, but the year before that it was four and twelve. Yeah. Now that was. That was no Garoppolo, and, and right, that right, was before right, right, nobody. Right. That was no, nobody, nobody right. on that team. So to to see them go to six and ten last year. Well, the the, the yeah. problem well, is that I I'm, I'm not going to fault them for six and ten. They had a whole cadre yeah, of injuries. Wrong. They had a lot of injuries. Yeah. I mean, well, the quarterback. And that was the, gonna, the, the best defensive player they had. Most of their secondary was in and out hurt. That's Wide true. receivers were hurt. Killer was hurt. I mean, yeah. they they went through so much last year. I, I'm not even worried about last year. I won't. When he asked the question, can they get back to that other year? I think they can if they can stay healthy. Right. They yep. can get right. there. And now the thing is, what's the quarterback they drafted? Trey Lance, if Trey I'm not Lance, mistaken. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Garoppolo, <sighs> but you are under the gun. You are under the gun. So you're <laughs> saying that they can get back to their Super Bowl winning season? With what receivers? Because Bourne is not there anymore. You lost pieces that kind of got well, Bourne you. Was, Bourne yeah. wasn't the one that was doing all the work. Uh, Kittle was doing most of the work Kittle on the in, receiver Kittle, side. Kittle, the Kittle, running backs were just running buck wild crazy, and the defense was shutting everybody down. If they can stay healthy Kittle. and they can add a couple pieces, they can get right back to where they were. And I, and I agree. You don't see it, Chuck? I mean, yeah, they can, but I mean, once again, Trey, you're, you're dependent on a rookie who has never played a single snap in the NFL. Okay, you're 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 elevating. I'm not him. dependent on a rookie. I'm just saying. No. Well, I'm okay, just saying so who's Rocco, throwing the, you're, who's you're, throwing the quarterback? They, they throwing drafted wrong. this quarterback to let you know that you are on yeah. un, under the gun. Right, that's the reason why. They well, yeah, because I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. When you have a QB that's injured, mm-hmm. I mean, we all know once once the injuries happen. You're you're more susceptible. It's it's a no brainer. Take a look at what happened to Romo, and and how many how many collarbones did he break <laughs> over the, the same over, one over, <laughs> over the course of like what three years? Yeah, yeah he over did and over again the same one. one. I mean, he I think he did he have a third? I know he had two. Yeah, he had three. Yeah, yeah three. that's what I thought. I that. So once yeah. it happens, it's only a matter of time. But you're but supposed right. to have them. So he's very fragile at this stage. Well, but, I, especially because of the nagging injuries that he had. Now, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying that he can't bounce back, and maybe if he strengthens, uh, you know, has a good strengthening coach, he can't resolve it. But, I mean, right. we, we have to keep in mind that most people don't go through the training regimen required for that. Yeah, that's true. Right. Well, I'm just saying with Garoppolo in particular, you're, you're, uh, Garoppolo's not on notice. He is the backup. You don't trade up. <laughs> you're not. You're not trading up for Trey Lance to sit him down. That makes zero sense. Right. So uh, Garoppolo is officially the backup. It's just like with Cam and uh, uh, Mac Jones. You're like to. I want him to start, but they didn't do. They didn't draft Mac Jones to sit there and say, "Hey, he's going to sit behind Cam Newton." Either that doesn't make any sense. Nice. If Cam not plays him in preseason. He oh, I see sit. what you're saying. On that one. He, uh, I, no, I get what he's going to outplay him because he's a veteran. But I'm just talking about maintaining the position. If you know the inevitable is coming, why would I sit there? I'd rather give the guy the kid the reps. I drafted that high for him. Well, gentlemen, you got to keep. If he's mind. not ready after tra- after training camp and after. Uh, Preseason, if he's not ready, he's not ready. Right. That's what Garoppolo is Now, they're building up to it right it. now because they're doing two-a-days. As we care right, right, right. Yeah, the OTAs, the OTAs are going right now. OTAs yeah. and stuff. Now, being, keep in mind, guys, uh, fifth-round draft pick, Trey Lance. Now, everybody's trying That's to That's That was the fifth overall. Round, yeah. third. He, was he was third overall. Third, third overall? Third overall. He's yeah. the third the guy, guy right pick. It's third. Third round Third draft overall pick. Is what you mean. I told you your handwriting is atrocious, bro. <laughs> 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 I gotta read my own stuff here. Can't read his own that's, stuff. That's anyway, right, but people think about it. Hey, look, is this guy, is this man here to take his job, Jimmy? Now, Jimmy, if you job. get hurt again, then that's kind of a. 
Well, you know, well you're looking at it from well, yeah, the hurt side. If you can, if you can afford but, to sit him even for half a season to learn behind Jimmy Garoppolo, who will be able to hit your ground running, running right. then then that right. may be a good thing. But obviously, that's going to be a Kyle Shanahan call. But it's like a, it's like the two of Fitzpatrick thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Fitzpatrick start, Tua came in, did right. he learned, yeah. came right. in, did a great job. Yeah. And now the playoffs, no, but he did a great Carson job. Wentz I would is, rather have Fitzpatrick over Garoppolo. Uh, okay, I okay. would. Hold up. Because now, he, he, that's he, a former yeah, Patriot yeah, player that he just said no, no, that no, about. No. <laughs> it's not about Patriot yeah, or nothing. It's, it's just about what you see. It's what, what you see on the field. With Jimmy G, it's like it's like he's not. It's not like it's like he's not seeing everything. You want him to. You, it's like you mm-hmm. want him to be great, but he's not great. You're you're trying to make him great. Compared to like let's say Fitzpatrick, he makes. Outstanding plays every now and then, right. and he is up and down. And but he's you, better, he's but a that's a of the game. but that's a consistent up and down compared to a person. One game he's hot, next game he's just so throwing interceptions. What, what and fumbling is and there's no that. consistency like, he, the, the, with Garoppolo. It's different. It's, it hasn't been since he's been there. It hasn't. Name a season where he hasn't. Well, he's like, only been there two years, right? Yeah, he's been there two years. He's more than two years. He, he's two, no, I think. He, he, I think this will be his, this would be his either third because no, this, this would be his third. This is his third. Okay, so even within the two years, um, wait, San Francisco. No, this is third. No, he's been there three years. Yeah, he's been there. This would be his fourth. This would be his no. This this coming up would be his fourth year, I think. And. What Chuck is saying is he has not shown consistency. He got bailed out by the running backs. The, right, the your your season. team bailed you out. Now I'm and not I'm not sitting there saying and the defense. I'm not sitting there saying that they're not. That's not their job to bail you out. But this is a consistent bailout. It's not like like I said with Fitzpatrick. You know, that, okay, I got subpar receivers, so I'm not getting the ball everywhere. Like when he was with. Uh, with the Texans or yeah. with the with Tim he's with even with right. Miami you only outside of Devonte Parker Devonte Parker who else do you have that's it yeah, that's going so if they what double team him have. I gotta make a ch- a chance and a hope with this guy over here well so okay so when we talked about the Julio Jones trade would that not make sense for That'd Julio Jones yeah. to go over there to Miami either yes. help no no I'm not talking Frisco. about Miami I'm talking about Frisco to help either yeah. Garoppolo or Lance, with that one start, right, you got yeah. Julio Jones on this side, you got the other guy on here, and then you got Gian right. Jr. It, still It makes out there. sense because right. he knows uh, Julio Jones knows Kyle Ch- Shanahan's system. Exactly. I get well, that Shanahan. trade, but the other one y'all were talking about, I didn't, well, I we didn't don't, agree we don't with. We don't get to that yeah. one. All right, gentlemen, I pulled right? it up. Garoppolo's been there since 17. 17, so that's four, four or five years. years. That's five years, man. Like this will yeah. be his fifth right, year. So. And he still, and he still year. hasn't got the system down to where he can. Like, like Chuck said, he's still get people open. Not like, I should be able to get people uh, open. Fine. Anyway, yeah, so yeah. let's go ahead and uh, let yeah. Kendall wrap this up for the 49ers. What, we, are, what are you already, thinking? We've already talked about, about the weapons we currently have and what they're getting, possible trades, things of that nature. Uh, at the same point in time, uh, I guess basically to end this uh, segment of that, uh, basically let's just see what happens as far as Jimmy starting. Hey, stay healthy. You can keep going. Trey, Trey Lance is right there on the hip because, you know, he's fresh. He's rookie. But let's see what's going to happen with the future of the 49ers. And I, just, just to end it on this here, ahead, if they can stay healthy, San Francisco with a good trade for some better wide receivers over there, yeah, it's, a different, it's a different Garoppolo and it's a different Trey Lance, Whatever, whichever one yeah, I'm starting. Yeah, absolutely. If them <clears throat> running backs are still doing what they did two yeah. years ago, you don't know what you're going to see out of San Francisco. That's if, true. All they got to yeah. do is stay healthy. Yeah. All right. All right. So, with the Seattle Seahawks, uh, I don't have too much positivity, <laughs> positive stuff to say. Come on. It's Russell. Um, <laughs> it's Russell Wilson, bro. <laughs> it's a team that needs pieces badly. Um, well, yeah, because if you take a look, yeah. um, the last, what, three, four years? They've, they've had 10 losing. plus winning seasons. Right. Mm-hmm. So and they were twelve and um, they were twelve and four last year uh, because of Russell Wilson. Yep. So with the whole situation with Russell Wilson, and I don't, I'm not going to sit there and say it's the best situation possible with the quarterback situation. Obviously, what you see in Green Bay, Houston, mm-hmm. um, and and now uh, with he, Seattle, he, he, Seattle was before Green Bay, right? But I'm saying with that, when you have a quarterback controversy like that, with the, the, play, uh, with, the, the play go down. with the front front office and the quarterback. You, you're especially with top elite quarterbacks. And you don't know where elite, you're at because the problem quarterback. We have to right get him because oh, yeah. the problem is is even if let's say you were to trade Russell Wilson, who's out there to get? Nobody. Who are you trading for? Who are you trading him for? That's the problem. So now you're back. Now as a front office, you're backed into a corner. 
Uh, but even with that being said, even if he does stay on the team, the O line is not is, is beat up. Yep. You know, outside your left tackle, I think it's Dwayne Brown. I think yeah, it's Dwayne Brown. Outside the door, the, the, there, I think yeah. it's Dwayne Brown. Outside that's, of, that's your best offensive lineman. I think outside of Dwayne Brown, I think it's Dwayne. Yes, you said it right. You said it right. Or That's the name. It's the true Williams. Williams. Dwayne Brown. Okay, so right. outside of Dwayne Brown, the, ta- the 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 line is trash. They drafted, <laughs> uh, they they drafted a, a offensive tackle who seems to have a a a, a, a upward swing. Uh, they drafted him in the sixth round. They traded up uh, with uh, Chicago to get him. Uh, Stone uh, Forsyth, I believe. Uh, he he has promise. Uh, they drafted in the second round a wide receiver. He's five eight. He's a slot wide receiver. So basically, what they want to try to do is have DK Metcalf on one side, lock it on the other, and then have this guy in the slot. Yeah. So therefore, meaning they're not looking for another receiver. Uh, they probably should have went and got a. They got a tight end in free agency from the Rams. Uh, uh, I forgot his 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 last name is Everett. He's decent. He makes spectacular plays every now and then. But if you're trying to run, which they typically do, I don't see him blocking that much. Um, blocking that much. I think in, uh, with the Rams, I, I forgot the name of the tight end. Was it Higby? Higby, yeah. Yeah, Higby was a blocking tight end for them. Um, the, I think that was the only blocking tight end they ever had, if I'm not mistaken. I think there was somebody before there. Well, you no, know, uh, the one that came from the same. Oh no, I'm sorry. They didn't need tight end. Uh, what's it called? His, uh, Disco, Disco, uh, Disby, or whatever his name is. He's there. So, anyways, Dwayne uh, Eskridge. He's the round in round two. Yeah, he's the he's the wide receiver they drafted. Okay. Um, and, and then uh, uh, in the fifth round, I believe they drafted a corner because they just lost Shaquille Griffin to the Jacksonville Jaguars. So. Yep. <clears throat> The, the the secondary that they did have last year is no longer there. So all they have is Jamal Adams and Trey Flowers. Now the thing with Trey Flowers is he's up and down. He's has good games every now and then. I mean he has a good game, then a bad game, then a bad mm-hmm. game, then a good game. He's up and down. Mm-hmm. So he's not dependable. So that's why they drafted the uh, corner. The corner has an upswing. He's a more experienced uh, uh, corner. Um, uh, from the college level, he's, he was at college longer than most uh, uh, corners uh, typically stay. Uh, on the defensive side, they beefed up in free agency. They got Carlos Dun- Dunlap, Puna Ford, Puna Ford, I believe his name is. Um, they also got uh, Puna Ford uh, and uh, yeah, Puna Ford, uh, the tight end Everett. Uh, Gerald Everett. Uh, they got a full another fullback, uh, a center. So they got uh, and then they re-signed uh, Chris Carson, their running back, because um, uh, that was his last year. Last year, uh, and <laughs> basically, I see them going maybe. T- oh, I want to say nine and eight, so bad. <laughs> I'll give them that's ten. Your but I'll give them ten and so seven. You, you think it's going to be that's a battle your, do, do between you, you because actually, because the O line is going to get because so it's, it's because Seattle and, it's Seattle and Rams again for first. Then I I would say Seattle probably might be third. Oh really? So I'm because actually, I see San Francisco with Trey Lance because Trey Lance fits. Trey Lance fits Shanahan's system. Yeah, they still have issues with the same. But you still say, right, but you right, said right, they do, earlier. But, but, right, they do, but if that offense is a high-power offense, which I think it might be, then that defense, because outside of Jamal Charles, I'm Jamal okay. Charles, what's the guy's name? Jamal uh, Adams, Trey, like I said, Trey Flowers is up and down. You you can't depend on that. But okay. you said it earlier. When and Kendall was talking about San Francisco. Trey Lance has not played a down. Right. In, in, but he's only NFL. played, what, 17, 19 right. games but in college, with, and he hasn't played a down in the NFL. So when you're saying he's not, the, Garoppolo's not in trouble, but then you're saying Trey Lance did. No, no, no. no okay. I'm having it's not. No, no, no. It's not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not conflicting with my same thing. What I'm saying is when we were talking about the quarterbacks, Garoppolo's not in trouble. His job is lost. What I'm saying with Kyle Shanahan's system, Trey Lance is going to be better uh, than Garoppolo, period, because he fits his style. Not, not the first I, year out the box. Though. Yeah, I, I, I still, I still I, have. I mean, I just they, think he's going to. I think, good. I think the San Francisco can make a decent run, but I don't think they're going to make a wild card. Yeah. Oh no, I, no, I, I'm, I'm just so, saying. I, I don't see. Go, I so you think they might be the spoiler? I'm thinking eight and nine. He's but anyway, nine boy, he, eight but eight we're on Seattle now, so you right, right, because right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seattle, think, Seattle secondary is questionable right at this moment. Outside of, like I said, outside of, 
Oh, Same division. Their, their secondary is questionable. If Trey Flowers proves to be a a, a a better corner to his ability. If he shows up. If he shows up, then <laughs> then I will sit there and say Seattle's uh, probably the second place in the division. Place, yeah. I think the uh, either it's going to be Arizona or it's going to be the Rams. That's just me for oh, the division. Joking. All right. So. Hey, All right. I, I cannot disagree with anything he just said. Because uh, with the exception of the quarterback thing in San Francisco, but that was yeah, before that. But with the Seattle Seahawks, the only thing I want to add is, like I said, we, we were all talking earlier about a trade for Julio Jones to any one of these teams. Yeah. And the one I think would benefit best from a trade for Julio Jones exactly. is Seattle. But it, it would but, make all the teams well, better. Luster. But Seattle would, would but they, well, on they don't, side they on don't the need him. They don't that's, need him. Well, that's what I'm so, saying. Nobody so if you needs, don't need him, you're not going to offer yeah. what people want for him. Nobody because, needs, because if you want to win a well, championship, yeah, we you know that. do yeah, need him. We already covered because the problem right, is, right now, the leading is Tennessee. Yeah. Because the problem is the one that's making the offer for Julio. The problem with Seattle is is they traded too much for Jamal Charles. They only had three drafts. They only had three From Tennessee. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They only had three draft round picks this year because they traded uh, two or three first for Jamal Adams. Oh, it sound like sound like a, a Houston Texans. Right. To, oh, that's how the yeah. Jets. That's how the Jets got their pick, their first round picks, because Jamal Adams. Uh, they they got two or three first round draft picks from the uh, Seattle to the Jets. So that's how Jets got all those first rounders. So they lost for the so for basically for the next three years. They're screwed. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. So we're looking at Seattle either second or well, third. We we, no we already discussed Seattle's been in the top spot or, or close to it for yeah. the last four years. And, yeah. So they they may have to take a step back and until they're that's usually what happens. You've been in the top spot for so long then you fall down and to that, the fourth and spot. And that might be why there's rumors about them wanting to trade yeah. Russell, but you're right, without to rebuild. Without well the defense I mean everybody well, without a valid replacement, someone that you can bring up. Yeah. There's no point because yeah, they because behind Russell is Geno Smith yep. and uh, Danny Elliott. Geno Smith still playing. Yeah, he's playing. What the heck? That's I it. Couldn't, I couldn't even say it. Yeah, I see that. So I couldn't even say. That's it. why I said I don't wow. see any. Up, I don't see. I haven't up. heard that name in I don't know how long. God Jesus. I don't see an upswing. I don't see a real upswing yeah, outside of the veterans <laughs> on the team because outside of uh, what's his name uh, Wagner. Um, the linebacker, mm. uh, Carlos Dunlap, who's a veteran. <sighs> Jamal the Adams. The offensive star they got is DK Metcalf. That that outside yeah, of the big names on the team, you got yeah. nobody else. So that's true. I'm just well, saying. Go ahead, Chuck. End it. That, that's it. All right. Well, uh, I'm up next, and I got the Arizona Cardinals, my new team. Oh, Sorry, shit. Texans. This is what happens when you fuck up. Excuse my French. Um, I'm gonna go through their draft picks first. Zach, <laughs> Zach Collins out of Purdue. I'm not even gonna go through all of them. Just just the first two, two or three. Zach Collins out of Purdue. Good linebacker. Great linebacker. Not don't know that until you get in there and play a game. Um, put him in between. Uh, uh, put him on the field with Watt and uh, Buda Baker and uh, what's the other guy name? Um, the one, the other linebacker on the other side. Uh, uh, Jones. Yeah, okay, um, Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones, yeah. All right. Now, Zach Collins played well in college. He played great in college, but it's the NFL. You're a first-round draft pick. Mm. You're going to have to come out there. You will start. This is going to oh, put yeah, that out yeah. there. Uh, the second-round pick is the one I have an issue with, and this is going to be a slot receiver. He's 180 pounds. He's five seven. Five foot seven, 180 pounds. Fast. You can be fast as you want. You're five foot seven. When he gets hit, <laughs> that's what you're saying. <laughs> I'm saying. Oh wow! I'm looking at this like you did good things, but you are five foot seven, hundred eighty pounds. I don't know any five foot seven, hundred eighty pound wide receivers that are still playing you after three that years. Five times. Yeah, you did. I, I'm, 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 five I'm, five I'm, I'm hitting five this. Seven. I'm hitting 180 this pounds. I'm, and I'm hitting this because <laughs> I understand. The kid can catch a ball. He can outrun a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But it's them hits from these oh. big, grown So you, you think he's going to get injured for I think he's going to get injured early. Okay. I think wow. he's going to get because he's a slot. He's going to be a slot receiver. He got to go across that middle. Oh. And you know oh. how the NFL is at, with at, that at five seven. That's a small target. Well, yeah, that's a small, a small target. If he can get down, if he can get on the ground and, and save himself, <laughs> he'll be all right. But if he get he get he get Molly Wap one time, ooh, mm-hmm. I feel sorry oh, for you. Kenyon Drake, right? Well, running back. Uh, you and, and Edmonds, um, this year y'all going to have to do some things because last year y'all finished 8-8. Eight eight. 
the, the Arizona Cardinals finished eight and eight, missed the playoffs by what a game and a half, if I'm mm-hmm. not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. All that the heroics that DeAndre Hopkins did to and Kyler Murray did to get y'all to mm-hmm. eight and eight. Um, you need some more, uh, some some weapons. Kirk, Kirk, uh, me and Chuck did something yesterday. I played with the Cardinals against the Titans, and he played mm-hmm. with the Cardinals against the Titans on Madden, <laughs> and it was not pretty with the team they have currently on paper. You added J.J. Watt, um, seasoned vet, but at the same token, like Chuck like, likes to say, he's a declining player. Mm-hmm. But um, he ain't going to have no problem. But the presence on the field, okay. the presence on the field with J.J. Watt commands respect and mm-hmm. it commands at least a double team. I believe that the defense is, is bulked up, but they still need to add another weapon on offense. Now, Chuck will debate this with me about Julio Jones. If they can land and Hopkins been mm-hmm. been trying to get him, everybody else been, hey, let's go get Julio Jones. It's Julio Jones. I don't care what you got on that field. Larry Fitzgerald's there, still out there doing his thing. Mm-hmm. Hopkins yep. is over there. He catches pretty much everything you throw his way. Oh, yeah. Um, Hopkins and, and Larry Fitzgerald by themselves sales. could run and that then you team. Got, and you got Kirk doing the slot. So if you bring in Julio Jones, who sits down? It's Fitzgerald. I guarantee you that. You can what? use him, why you? Wow. but why? I mean, he's a, he's the tight end, really, isn't he? Well, isn't well, he if you don't use your, if you don't he's, use he's the tight end, he's a slot. He's a slot, and then you got Kirk running the slot. Okay, and you got Julio Jones on one side, and you got a hop DeAndre on the, on the other. That's yeah. that that right there. Those four right there on the field yeah. at the same time. That stretches weapons. a defense. That means guess what? But, them but too, backs too bad Tennessee's the leading spot. They're the leading. The, they're the leading spot. Don't get me yeah. wrong. But if they can happen, that puts oh, Arizona uh, in and, the and, in the driver's seat. And John, they were only one game. One game and one game and a half. Because uh, because the if they would have won one more game, they would have beat the Bears. Bears and, had made okay. name. All right. Thank oh, you, wow. Josh, for correcting me on camera. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I was figured you'd want to know because it was me, it was close for me with the additions they made. And the 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 draft they got, they added uh, two linemen. And, no, I'm sorry. Uh, they had, they added one offensive lineman and a whole bunch of defensive players. With the with besides the one wide receiver they picked up in their seven picks, I'm thinking that they restructured a whole bunch of contracts to keep some certain defensive players there. Yeah. And you're adding defense. You if you can get a trade done with Julio Jones, that offense can be a juggernaut. Can they beat certain teams? They still got to get together and they still got to make it work. But I think they can be easily the number two team coming out, if not the number one team, barring whatever goes I, down. I definitely see Arizona as a potential spoiler, if not taking that second spot. I think they'll and take the really, second spot. I don't it, think they'll take the first, but I think they'll take the and second. That, and that's going to depend on how well Seattle performs. And then if, if and that's in just that's a division. Team. Now, if you look through the one through seven, I'm thinking four at the least. I'm thinking four at the least. Not winning your division, well, I mean, I, being fourth in the overall. No. no. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah. fifth. I'm sorry, fifth. I'm yeah. meant to say fifth because the division winners get one through, I one even, through four. I I'm, thinking them fifth. I'm thinking them fifth. I wouldn't even say overall. that because you're, you're ignoring, what is it, Green Bay? You're ignoring. No, those, those are different Those are different uh, divisions. Well, division they're still winners playing, get one yeah. through they're four. playing the yeah. same teams. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm saying okay. the division get winners get one through four. I'm thinking they're going to be the fifth team because it's seven teams now. So I'm thinking it's one through four division winners, and they're either the second team in the division. So you think Arizona's taking a wild card spot? I think saying. Arizona's taking the fifth wild card spot. Rams win the whole division. Wow. And I definitely could see that, and I, I think it's going to come down to how they perform against Arizona and Seattle. And Seattle. Because in order for Rams to take it, they're going to have to sweep one of them. And more likely, they'll probably sweep Arizona. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm my team. Well, I'm sorry, all, I'm and we because know, you got new players new coming team. in, and we know how tough it is to beat Seattle yeah. on the road. On the in road, Seattle. yes, mm-hmm. it, it, and it's hard to beat them at Seattle. So that's why I say, yeah. like, when he, when, when you look at Seattle and the Rams, uh, these are two teams that win on the road, and they hard to beat at home. So for Arizona or Frisco to get one of those spots, mm. you have to beat them at home. You have yeah. to make them. You have to beat them home. You got to steal one from intimidate them from their home turf. Yep. Yeah, and the yeah, only one I think you can steal one from if it's a, if it's Frisco and the Cardinals is the Rams. You're gonna steal a game. Oh, from. it's going down this year. Then. Yeah, I think the Rams. You can steal a game from uh, uh, Seattle. I mean, you can steal a game from because of the turmoil. If it's still there, and let's if not, it's not forget, there. This division has true. to play 
the uh, the NFC North, mm-hmm. right, yep. and the AFC South. So right now the South is is gonna. I mean, even though Drew Brees is gone, and you know, yeah, I, I still think that New Orleans has got enough together. The AFC South or the yeah. AFC South? AFC, NFC. Oh, that's right. The NFC North and the AFC South. So no, the AFC so South, I'm, the so Texans I, I, are in turmoil. Yeah. That's nothing. Yeah. So Jackson they'll be able to run through new quarterback. So the, these, we could have three teams out of this. Yeah, I mean, they, if, if they, they play oh, well enough. Okay, that's the, that's the other part. The three teams that can make it, and, and not a slight on uh, Seattle, sorry. Um, the other three teams have more weapons. Mm, better yes. we- I'm sorry, better weapons. So, you, so, even, so even if Seattle... Drops a little bit if they put up a, a strong enough fight, still, they could they could the end up in the bottom. I think they're still at the bottom. Yeah, you think they're in the bottom? I no, I, I I still put that on. You put them a on San Francisco. Than who Frisco? Well, because look, even everybody's if, coming out for injury, so that makes that yep. makes a big. That There's a lot of question marks, yeah, right? Especially with the QB. Season. So I think quiet. I mean, do I think Kyle can have them working on all cylinders as the I, season ends? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But to me. Unless they pull off some good stuff against their own division, that's, which that's is a tough the problem. Is. Well, which well, is a tough. The, spot. the thing I want to interject is is that the reason why I I mean I'm really deba- I'm really de- I'm really debating if they're gonna uh, uh, Seattle's not gonna be it'll probably be dead last. You think dead last for Seattle? Because if Bosa's coming back, wow. I'm looking at I'm looking at San Francisco. If Bosa's coming back and those defensive uh, key pieces are coming back, and them wire, them they don't have point. a line to protect him, so he's got to run. Well, Trey he's Lance got to run, and, but, see, but, the, but hold on, hold on. I'm talking about Seattle. He's oh, got, okay. uh, Russell Wilson, Wilson has to run, but Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson is is a little bit slower. If you yeah. seen last year, he got a little bit slower. But he's been running so, his whole career. I know he has, but <laughs> he's, he's still thirty. Was he thirty two or thirty three? Oh, I don't know. He's thirty two or thirty three. He's getting a little bit slower. Like even Cam Newton, all of them, they're all getting slower. They're not getting faster. Yep. So if you're getting faster, you own something. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So. Uh, I could just I could see the uh, 49ers defense because I mean Seattle didn't do anything with the offensive line outside of that one draft pick. That's it. But the line was getting beat up the whole. So year. you're counting on that one draft pick to solidify that line. That, that, that that's basically what sense. it looks like. Did that's they do what anything in free agency? They, okay. Free agency was all mostly defensive players. Oh, so they they broke, they, they want the, yeah. the recreation of the leader of the boom. You hope. and they can't get it because you don't have the cor- corners to do it. Mm. You don't have the corners. So. Wow, I, I see them. I did, I did not that's, see that's that. That's why I said. That's why I said. I think they're nine and eight, maybe well, eight nine and eight, eight, eight. Nine and eight. I think they're going to be eight and at nine. The bottom, that puts them at the bottom because I don't see I, if Pete Pete Carroll did beefed up what he does best, which is defense. Yeah, that's true. So the offense is pretty much on its own. So if you double team Tyler Tyler Lockett, if you can with Metcalf. Hopefully this rookie uh, 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 they drafted this year, uh, Estridge or uh, uh, whatever his name yeah. is. But if, and, you, and, if you can make a trade for Julio Jones, that opens up a whole. But you're not. Thing, you're, you're 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 not going. They're not going to be first able of all. Offer. They're cap strapped. Second of all, they don't have anything to trade outside yeah, of the player. And then if I'm if I'm if I'm Atlanta with uh, Julio Jones, give me Russell Wilson. And or give me DK Metcalf. Or give me right. quarterback. Yeah. I I think that pretty much covers it yeah. for the uh, for the division here. Um, <laughs> so everybody pick the team that you think is going to come out on top. Let's just end it with that. I definitely like what the Rams have done, but there's still a lot of question marks of whether or not Stafford hits the ground running. There's, yeah, I mean, and that, that that first six games, I mean, that's that's yeah. going to tell all All right, yeah. Kendall, I know you love the the Forty Nine but come on, be real. Um, real as is real as it gets. Who's number one coming out? Almost too hard to say, but I got to go for my team, man. <laughs> San Francisco, Chuck. <laughs> All right, so this depends on Russell Wilson. If Russell Wilson is there and he's all in, I say Seahawks, even though I said all that negative stuff. But if he's not, I say Arizona. I'm going to say one or two, Arizona one or two, Rams one or two. I'm thinking Rams first, Arizona second, Seahawks third. Frisco. Wow, wow. dead last, huh? Dead last. Well, you guys only got, what, six wins last year? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that was last year. <laughs> Everyone's healthy now. All right. But anyway, <laughs> hey, so uh, so this is what we're going to do for the next couple of weeks. We're going to take each division. Yeah. Uh, what, what division do you guys want to do next Let's week? Let's do uh, the uh, AFC East. The uh-huh. AFC East? Well, we just did an NFC, so let's do an AFC. Side. Well, we just did West, so you want to start with AFC West then? Yeah, Go that way? AFC West. Yeah, let's do that. That's a good one. That is actually a good one. That's actually a good one. 
<laughs> I'm not doing Kansas City. <laughs> That's okay. Well, there's four of us. No, Kim, One of us Kim can, can have Kansas City. I, I refuse. <laughs> I, refuse. Yeah. I, I would take, How would you do um, that to him? He's probably we'll, still we'll like say, having we'll like... We'll say AFC East. Yeah, not, not, no, I'll AFC, take it. I'll take no, no, Kansas. not AFC West. AFC East. AFC West. Oh, wow. oh AFC West? Yes. Okay, that's Where's different. Oh, anyway, thanks for joining I'll us. I'll take Denver. <laughs> it's nothing over there, but I, I guess I'll it's easy Thanks for joining us. Like, subscribe, and share. And definitely comment below. Please comment Please. below. Let us know what we're doing right and let us know what we're doing right. <laughs> or right. let him know he's doing wrong. <laughs> yeah, On that right. note, we're out. Have faith. <laughs>